This week I want to speak to private investigators somewhat, but let's face it, a lot of us work alone. This may not necessarily be something that you have a problem with, but certainly the people getting into this business, if you work uh, security, if you work loss prevention, uh, even police officers, they're faced with a tough choice sometimes, and I want to talk about that today. This is Larry Kay with ShadowAnyone.com and the creator of the Investigator's Ultimate Guide series, which is premium private investigator training from someone who's been there and done that. Uh, I want to talk, a, It's let's look at it in, from this perspective to start with, this idea of disordered loves. So we love different things in, in our life, uh, and, and sometimes we get those out of order. Uh, for example, if a friend tells you something in confidence and you go to a party and you blab about it, well, you've just placed your love of popularity above your love of friendship. Clearly, that is out of line. So, we can see that from the outside looking in, but when you work things like security, loss prevention, anything with a partner, uh, and especially in this line of work, uh, there can be tough times, tough calls where your partner, the person you're working with, has made a bad decision, uh, and you've got to decide, do I back up this person or do I not? How do I handle this? And loyalty is a great thing, and it is, I think it's something to love. Uh, certainly a husband and wife, they should be loyal to each other. Loyalty is very, very high up on the chain as far as I'm concerned. And you're going to feel that natural draw. And again, in the military, and whenever there's kind of an element of danger, so, and if you're working loss prevention, you're approaching people, you're stopping them, sometimes physically, security work, the same thing. When there's that element of danger and you know you have to have each other's back, uh, backs, then it can be very tempting to place loyalty at the top. Here's the lesson I want to give to you today, and that is uh, loyalty above everything except your honor. So don't compromise your honor for loyalty. Yes, loyalty. Be loyal to, if, if you're standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with a, a bad guy and you've got your partner there with you, stay loyal to your partner. Back him or her up uh, as, as you would expect to be backed up as well. When you're uh, writing your reports, you write them and you, know, you make sure that your report and their report um, stick to the truth they're going to still read the same but you know if if your partner had to use force and express that they were fearful if you were genuinely fearful as well put that in your report don't be afraid of, of looking like you were scared back up your partner with this truthful information and that's where you have to add in this honor element uh, you can be loyal to the person but not when it compromises your honor, not when it compromises your integrity. And let me say, make the decision today, right now, understand that's where the line is. Because when push comes to shove and things start to unravel, they unravel quickly. And many times you're gonna be making statements to a, to a manager at a company, to a police officer, many times within seconds or minutes of an event, and you're gonna be stuck with those. And if your instinct is to tell the little white lie that backs up your partner, um, then you're stuck with that little white lie and the consequences of it. It's not too late to come forward and be truthful, but decide today, decide now, hey, integrity, honor, I'm, I'm just not lying. And if you feel like you maybe even have to have a conversation with your partner about this, then do so. When I worked loss prevention and when I would bring people in and train them, and I would tell them, look, if you see me get out of line, if you see me give somebody uh, a punch, if you see me use force that's not necessary, uh, if I say something, you go immediately to the district manager and report me because I'm gonna do the same to you. That's just the way it is. We don't have room here for that type of behavior. And so maybe it's time to have that conversation, but certainly know in your heart and that when it comes down to it, you're gonna do the right thing even if it's a hard thing. This is Larry Kay with ShadowAnyone.com. Remember, do the right thing, even if it's the hard thing.